Hello everyone, this is Sam Sartori, and today I'll be teaching you how to create your own free Skype account for the benefit of you and your students. So, the first thing you want to do is go to this URL, which I have in your job aid, and then you're going to want to start entering your information. Alright, and here, when you repeat your email, you want to make sure that it's exactly the same as the other, or it'll take you back up to the top of the page, and you'll have to check every box to see if, it's, if you messed something up. And then you select your birthday. And then gender. Most of us are going to be in the United States and city. Then you put in your personal phone number. And then we intend to use Skype for business conversations, so select that. These two fields can be left blank. And then you select your Skype name. and then pick your password. This can be anything as long as it has a number in it. Alright, and then right here it's asking if you want to be informed of Skype updates through text or email. I prefer email, but it's your choice. And then you've got your CAPTCHA, but if you can't read it, you click on refresh right here. New CAPTCHA. You can do that as many times as you need to. So, once you complete your account, you can customize your account and also download Skype for Windows. So, as you click on this, it's going to open a new window for you. And then you click on Run. So, it pulls up this box and you select your language, probably English, and then click on I agree. And this may take a while to load. Alright, so after your installation is finished, you just go back to your profile. And so now you can add a profile picture if you want and add friends. What you're going to want to do from here is let your students know that you have a Skype account and add them as contacts, which they just search your name, send your request, and you accept. And then if they are absent or if they are just not in class for some reason, you just Skype them into class and they can get the benefit of the lesson without having to be there. And that's all you need to know to have your own Skype account for the good of your students. Thank you for watching.